Dear students of year four, welcome in a new lesson of our Islamic studies. Now, look carefully to these two pictures and express your opinion to your classmates. Okay. Now you will see what happened in the first picture and the left one. The children they play and feed the cat. And the second picture, the children are searching the cat. Someone catch here from tail. So this is good or bad? Yes, this is bad. And the first picture, good. But how can we describe the first picture in the in the right? Give me extra. Describe the first picture in the left by one word. Yes, very good. They are kind and the quality is kindness. Very good. So our lesson today will be about wonderful kindness. Let's start. Our learning objectives for our lesson today will be read hadith correctly and learn it by heart, explain the overall meaning of the hadith, draw out areas of showing kindness, conclude the benefits of showing kindness, adhere to kindness in treating others. Now we will start by the first learning objective. The first learning object of our lesson today, read hadith correctly. I will read hadith first by Arabic, then by English. So listen carefully. Now I will read by Arabic. An Aisha radiallahu anha, an Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a call. In the rifqa la yakunu fi shayin illa zana, wa la yunza min shayin illa shana. Rawahu Muslim. Now I will read by English. It was narrated by Aisha, may Allah bless with hair, that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Whenever kindness is added to something, it adorns it. And whenever it is withdrawn from something, it leaves it defective. Narrated by Muslim. The second learning objective of our lesson is the meaning of vocabulary. Arrifku, licensee and kind treatments. Zanahu, made it beautiful and attractive. Yunzau, taken away or removed. Shanahu, made it defective and ugly. Let's go to the third learning objective. The third learning objective of our lesson explains the overall meaning of hadith. In this hadith, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, calls us to show kindness to all our affairs and to all others around us in the society. Kindness can be expressed through treating others nicely and kindly in both word and deed. And you can treat others kindly by word, say good words, say politely words, and by word you can treat others by by act, sorry, by act, by deed. 
like help others, respect others, and take care of others, and avoid violence, severity, and regularity. Avoid to be ugly with others, because as we know from Hadith, Allah loves the kind person, and He gave him good deeds, and He will help him in the day of judgment when He appears to enter Jannah. But the violence of persons, He will get bad deeds. People dislike him, Allah didn't love him, and this is lead him to enter hell in the day of judgment. So, I need all of you to treat others with kindly, to have the love of Allah, and good good deeds, and enter Jannah, inshallah. Fourth learning object of our lesson. Draw out areas of showing kindness. The first group, green one, will mention how to be kind with others. Write at least three things. The second group, the orange one, will find out from these gestures areas of showing kindness or the forms of kindness. You have three minutes from now. Start. First learning objectives include the benefits of kindness. You are two groups. The first group, the green one, will conclude the benefits of kindness from these quality gestures. You have four minutes from now. Start. And the group, the red one, will conclude the benefits of kindness by answering the following question. The question is, what take in front of the correct sentence? After you finish, you will write summarize for the benefits of kindness. You have four minutes from now. Now we reach to resources and links. Our resources YouTube, Sketchup, Planet Box, Google Drive, and Internet. Our links with the Arabic. What is the Arabic word for kindness? Think. What is the Arabic word for kindness? Yes, very good. Arifqa. Arifqa. With life, how to treat others kindly in Ramadan? We are in month of Ramadan, month of kindness, and month of mercy. So, try to answer how to treat with others all of the people, those who are around you. Maybe your friends, parents, neighbors. Worker in supermarket, etc. How to treat with all of those kindly? Especially, we are in the month of kindness and mercy. Link with UAE and IT. UAE is the country of kindness. Explain this phrase. You can search in the internet to find the answer. 
that is the answer in your copy box now we will go to the summary of our lesson summary of our lesson definition of kindness definition mean the meaning of kindness and the meaning of kindness is leniency and kind treatment second areas of kindness in all matters of life including treating with living things like animals or plants in the family like brothers parents and grandes bauma in school my classmates teachers and cleaner in society cleaning worker neighbors and friends the effects of kindness a great reward you will get allah's love and you will enter paradise and i hope all of you keen on treat with others with kindness